Hi everyone, if you're watching this video, you've probably bought the Solar EV Charger. Welcome to the Driving on Sunshine Club. In this video, we'll go through the process of the commissioning of the EV Charger. But before we start, let's have a quick look at what you need for the commissioning. You have the EV Charger already mounted and wired on the wall. In addition, you need a quick guide, possibly a pair of hand gloves, a flat screwdriver, a voltage meter and the solar edge setup. Okay, the terminal cover on the left is closed, but I left the communication area accessible and we will cover it later. Now, first thing you want to do is set the dip switch. Ensure dip switch 1.3 is on. The charging station is set to 16 amps in the delivery state. In order to adapt the maximum current to the installed line circuit breaker, a configuration via the dip switches is necessary. To move the switches, you should use a flat screwdriver, and for alternative setups of current, use the quick installation guide. All right, we have our dip switch set. Now, before we turn on the AC, we wanna make sure that we don't have any residual installation or connection materials around the connection area. And we're going to make sure that the cables, the screw connections are properly locked in place. All right, we're going to move on to turning on the electrical grid. Now, what's gonna happen is the charger will start an automatic self-test procedure and will display out of service for approximately 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, the LED bar should flash blue or green. This indicates that the self-test was successful. Scan the EV charger QR code to monitor the installation process. Meanwhile, you can use those 10 minutes to enjoy a cup of coffee. After the successful startup, you can put the charging station into the commissioning mode needed to perform the required initial testing. To activate commissioning mode, you will need to turn on dip switch number eight in the lower block in the upwards position, and then press the service button until you hear a clear beep. In commissioning mode, the device carries out an extended self-test and the contactor is switched on with a time limit to allow you to measure the voltage on the contact points of the charger gun. Once you're in the commissioning mode, you will notice the LED turns orange. Please notice that a normal charging procedure is not possible when you're in commissioning mode. Okay, voltage meter is connected. Let's test our EV charger. Yes, everything looks great. Let's move on to the next step. Now we'll need to deactivate the commissioning mode in order to operate the charge station properly. Let's set the dip switch 8 back into the off position. And now we're gonna press the service button. Once your EV charger is properly installed and you have the blue or green LED blinking, you are ready to start. We finished the installation and closed the cover with two screws. Now we will pair the charger with the inverter to enable smart energy control. Use setup to scan the QR code of the inverter. Once connected, open the device manager. Select the EV charger to pair with the inverter. Tap add. Now your EV charger is successfully paired with the inverter. Monitoring registration will happen automatically once paired. The last step is to open my solar edge and see the EV charger is registered and offers smart energy features. That's it, you can enjoy your new solar edge EV charger. To complete the installation, use our manual and our supporting how-to videos in the YouTube channel. <laughs> 